Hey, what's poppin? Today we are doing the two other endings of Cold War, which is when we lied to Adler and betray them, and then there's another secret ending where we lie and then you know what? Watch the video. You will see. I don't want to spoil it for you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> yeah. So tell me. Where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. Yes, sir, we will. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. Shut up, bitch. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Let's see the truth, haha. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Sit ambush at Duga, duh. Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave within the hour. I think we have a choice there to, to do or not to do. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev. Between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. Yeah, we are Russian, but that doesn't mean you have to kill us. We literally helped you kill. I mean, at least stop you Perseus. Sure you're not forgetting something, Bell. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. He fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes? <laughs> you fucked, American. Yes, sir. I want to kill them all. Thank you. 
You don't mess with Russia, mother father. Uh huh. Spoke too soon, bitch. Oh, where is he? That's not good news. Over here, comrade. This is it. Your friend went through here. He is not far. Come out and play. You are running out of time. And space. What a bitch. He just ran when his friends are dying. I think this boss is the cat becomes the mouse. Oh, he killed himself. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? No. <laughs> I'd offer you a cigarette, but you don't smoke anymore. We tried to help you with all your worst qualities. <coughs> I guess science still has its limits. What do you mean worst qualities, huh? Just shut him up. You know what? Of course. You're gonna die. You son of a bitch. I hate you so much. Yeah, boy. Hail Russia. Dog should have been put down long ago. I hit you. Let's go. I mean, I know you're Perseus. You remember my face, don't you? I do. Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. Don't kill me. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm happy. Let the new, the West Falls Red Detroit. Now we are talking about Soviet. Let's go. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold. But oh no, he's gonna to kill me now. We begin the next one together. You did well. I thought he was gonna kill me. But he start and some sneeze like Adler. After all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. We are Perseus. <laughs> uh, we'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland, mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. It's so Come. There is still much to be done. Not so welcoming, but okay. What's there to do? green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. A 
And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Indeed, sir. Kasim Javali, he fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. We already did, didn't we? As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. I think we have. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Even though we have prevailed, the CIA has significantly wounded our foundation inside the U.S. Robert Aldrich has been killed, and our network there has collapsed. It could take us years to regain the footing we have lost. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help Shepard in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. We have no one else to help fill the void. Inserting new agents into such influential positions will take years. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Now that's the good ending. Let's go for the next so one. So tell me. Where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we, we will detonate, detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Zuga. Sims. Get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. The question is what right. if I don't? See, there's an option to exit. We'll leave within the hour. We won't let the president down. We're starting the mission without setting up the ambush. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system, big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. 
I never doubted it. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? What kind of fucked up logic is that? That's a truth, bro. What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. And then what? Get killed by you? Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? What do you mean I'd defense? I'd walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Apparently, we didn't do a good enough job. Time's up, kid. I guess I'll finish this job myself. You wanna load up the body? Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Wow. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. So we just sacrifice our life without, you know, taking revenge in this ending, I guess. I personally prefer the previous one. I mean, people say that's a bad ending, but I don't see how. Okay, how? Why should we support America? I mean, the protagonist of the story is us, and if we die, how is that a good ending? Yeah, <laughs> I guess we'll end it right there. I think that's the last of Cold War campaign. Maybe we'll have some light. Live streams of uh, multiplayer or something like that. Anyway, thank you for joining us in this wonderful journey, and here's two more of them. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, and that's it. Take care.